Hi, I'm Turbo here for Team Empire at the International 2015. I'm here speaking to Rainessa. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks for asking. And today you're cosplaying as Io the Wisp. Uh, how long did it take you to put together this cosplay? Uh, this one was only maybe a week or so when I actually sat down. It was much more coming up with the idea that took a very long time. I've been thinking about it since TI last year. So what exactly was the most difficult part to create as the concept in your head? Um, I was trying to figure out a way to portray a ball of energy, pretty much, so I knew it had to be light and it had to be round, but I wanted something that I could take on a plane and that I could sit and watch games in, so I had to think of something that, for instance, when I sit, compresses and doesn't get in my way so that I can actually be really mobile and free with it, because TI is a very mobile event. So it was more about the coming up with uh, more, something more mobile than actually you know, creating it. Yeah, exactly, because some people you're like, oh, why didn't you just get one of those giant hamster balls? And I'm kind of, I can't do anything in those. <laughs> so I went a little more conceptual, but also comfortable. Okay, well, it looks great. Um, and you also brought some other cosplays with you to TI. Uh, how did you fit all those in your suitcase? Where did you come from? Um, so I'm from around the East Coast, so uh, I didn't have to go through customs, which is nice. I don't have to explain anything. <laughs> uh, but it actually all just fit. Um, so I brought six with me, and my bag was, the limit in the U.S. is 50 pounds, so that's like 20-ish kilos. Um, and so I just hit that limit on my checked bag, so I stuffed it as full as I could, and I was set, and I fit everything, which is great. Uh, which were the other cosplays you did? So I started off with the Wagamama Templar Assassin set. Um, as a special little shout-out to Waga. And then, let's see, I moved into a female Pudge. Then I did the CM Arcana. Yesterday I was a female Beast Mistress. And then today's Io slash Wisp. And then tomorrow, my last day, is Marana. All right. And Marana, of course, we haven't really seen her picture in the tournament. I assume you're a big fan of Marana. Uh, do you think, are you, are you hoping that we'll see her in a few games? It would be great if she was picked. Um, the last time I was dressed as Marana was at MLG, and Resolution was drafting in the finals. And I'm sitting right in the front row, and I swear he's looking at me, and he like clicks on Marana like he's about to pick it, and he picks something else, and it kind of broke my heart because it was his only chance. So who knows? Maybe she'll come back tomorrow. Maybe. And, yeah, and, I, and I'll, I'll get to relive that event, and she'll actually get picked. That would be awesome. Um, and, of course, you mentioned Wagamama, very popular streamer. You're a streamer as well, also? Yes, I am. Where can people find you on Twitch? Uh, so on Twitch, I'm, I'm Renessa. So and did you, you created uh, some of your cosplays on stream as well? Yeah, so sometimes I do a little bit of cosplay work on stream. Um, I got a really bad concussion a few months ago, and so Dota was kind of out the window for about a week or so, so I did most of my CM Arcana while streaming, so people could kind of see some of the behind the scenes and what goes into it and all the cool little tricks I do to make the hero come to life. And uh, I assume you also do a lot of fan interaction while you're building. Is, is that refreshing to kind of take a break from just creating, but also speak with people who are in the stream? Yeah, well, I stream because I love my chat. So I don't stream to show off my amazing, you know, 3.5K MMR plays. Woohoo! Uh, I stream because I really like interacting with people in that level of just kind of getting to share with other people who love the same thing that I do. Uh, so that's what's fun for me. All right. Well, at the end of the day, it is all about community. Um, do you have any special shout outs, thanks that you'd like to give before we uh, sign off here? I think just, you know, shout out to everybody who's super nice. Just anybody who comes up and asks me for a picture, just one picture makes the entire cosplay creation completely worth it. So just really thanks to everybody who kind of gives me the feedback that makes me know that it's appreciated. All right. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. Uh, this is Turbo for Empire TV signing out.